The video that you're about to watch was a live training that I did at URSA 2023 in San Diego. Now, URSA is one of the largest health club racquetball style conferences in the world and they hold it every single year. It is a full training that I give on the broken model that health clubs are running. So if you're a health club owner, you definitely want to watch this and stay to the end. If we got the recording in there, um, we actually shot money into the crowd. But I want to talk about one thing really quickly. The concept and the model that I walked through during this presentation was actually referenced by several people who don't know me and they were just there watching it later on in the week during their presentations, which is actually really cool. It also led to the co-founder and CEO of Orange Theory, working with his marketing director as CMO to work on these same types of offers that I walk through during the presentation. So enjoy, take some value from it, drop a comment down below if you learned something from it. And as always, if you're interested in learning how we can help you implement this inside of your health club, go ahead and click the link down below. You'll be able to book a call with our team. We'll see if we can help you. And I'll see you on the other side. I am so excited to be here with everybody. Real quick question. I'm going to be speaking from up here. I'm not used to that. Um, but we'll just deal with it. It might seem a little boring because I'm not going to walk around and engage with y'all, but I will be engaging with you from the stage. Um, I have a free gift for everyone at the end. Unfortunately, though, the way this gift works is people on the outside may not have the same opportunity on the outside rows to get access to this free gift. Don't ask me what it is. You'll see at the end, I promise. Just a thank you for being incredible club owners and being in the fitness industry. But for those of you on the outside, just as a heads up, if you want to move closer to the inside, you will have access to the gift. Just a heads up, okay? Um, all right, let's rock this out. How many of you own a club? Great. How many of you are part of a franchise? Cool. How many of you are part of HQ of some sort of company, whether it's fitness related, some sort of equipment, something else? Okay, great. Awesome, fantastic. How many of you are here just because of the headline? A decent amount, okay, cool, all right. So we got your attention, I like it. All right, well, I am extremely honored and humbled to be here. Um, it's been a long time coming, super excited to be here. I'll go through a little bit about myself in just a second. But I, the biggest thing, anytime I give a presentation, I do this online or in person, I always wanna make sure that I give you as much value as I possibly can because I don't take your time for granted. I have been in your chairs, I've sat where you've sat, and I still do today. I look forward to the rest of this week to listening to other presenters and people providing tons of value. My goal here is to give you a high ROI on that time. Okay, we cool with that? Sweet, awesome, let's get into this. So. Last year, I was at URSA 2022 in Miami. You'll see some of our team, we've got them kind of sprinkled around. You'll see us, whoops, you'll see us at the booth. Um, we're at a booth later on, you can go there tomorrow or the next day. But we were at URSA 2022, um, and I sat exactly where y'all are right now. Our team went to a bunch of different presentations, and we saw a lot of different things. We listened to industry leaders, club owners, tech founders, investors, a whole bunch of incredible people talking. But what was interesting is that even though it was an absolutely amazing event, it was incredible for so many different reasons, it left me inspired but also concerned for the future of the industry. And I'll get into why in just a second. Now, the inspiration here at URSA, it's very easy to find. We see lots of incredible people doing amazing things, amazing vendors, everything A to Z. But what concerned me last year is the reason that I am here today and I asked to speak to everyone here, especially to those of you that own clubs specifically to you. Those of you in a franchise, yes, I do wanna to talk to you as well, but this is today all about club owners, okay? So my team and I listened to all the incredible presentations, speakers during last year's event, but we were all very confused by one very specific thing that was missing from it all. No one was talking about how to use paid advertising to fill their gyms with high ticket clients. Not only was it not being talked about, but I went to multiple different presentations where it was being discouraged. This is surprising, and it shocked me for three different reasons. Number one, paid advertising is the fastest and most reliable way to grow a gym. These are the brands that use it currently. Planet Fitness last year spent a quarter of a billion dollars on brand and direct response marketing. Quarter of a billion dollars as a franchise. We all saw New Year's Eve, the ball drop. They were the main sponsors of that. Advertisers there, Orange Theory. F45, Lifetime, just to name a few, they all use paid advertising in some form or fashion. For us, for our company, we've been using paid advertising to fill gyms with high ticket clients 
for almost a decade now, and our clients have made over $500 million in new fitness sales since 2016. And still to this day, paid advertising is the cheapest way to get attention today. Doesn't matter, over any other option. You can reach more people by going onto Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Google, Snapchat, and be able to get more eyeballs on an offer than anywhere else in any time in history. But I also understand why most clubs don't advertise on social media. Since 2016, we have talked to 33,000 different club owners and gym owners, studio owners, club owners, you name it. 33,000, we've had one-on-one -on -one conversations with them. And in our studies, we've always asked them, do you run paid advertising regularly on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or some sort of social media? SEO doesn't count. One in 10 say that they regularly spend money on social advertising. So 90% of club owners, gym owners out there don't regularly spend money to acquire clients on Facebook and Instagram. Now, some franchises do this, they require it, but when we talk to independent club owners, we found that very few actually do this to acquire high ticket clients, even in the club atmosphere. Now, I understand this because when you add up the cost of management, if you're using an agency, and you look at the ad spend, the nurture, the commissions you have to pay your salespeople, the tech setup, and how hard it is to do this, and all of the other things that go into this, it's really easy to think that it's not worth it, okay? And the sad truth is, for many clubs and gyms, it really isn't worth it. But it's not because advertising doesn't work, it does, it's because the model that they're using to acquire clients is broken. And today I wanna to show you a model that we have used with over 5,000 club owners around the world to reliably acquire new high ticket clients without a marketing budget. Now, before I get into the model, let me introduce myself um, and hopefully give you a few reasons why you should even be sitting here and listening to me and not get up and leave in a couple seconds, okay? Besides the fact that I have a free gift for you at the end. Nobody cares on the end, no one moved. So, all right, <laughs> I was warning you, just a heads up. Um, you can see this is my family. Uh, so my beautiful wife, Maggie, she's actually here. Um, she's our VP of operations in the holding company that we are a part of and that we lead. These are my two incredible kids um, that made me all gray. So I am, contrary to popular opinion, not 50 years old, but I am all gray and have been for a long time. I'm the CEO of Gaines Holding. We are a portfolio company owned by a private equity firm out of San Francisco called American Pacific Group. We were acquired Christmas Eve, December 20. December 24th, Christmas Eve, 2021. And we have three brands. We have Gym Launch, Prestige Labs, and GymOwners.com. Between these three brands, over the last six years, we've done almost $130 million in revenue. Um, and we continue to grow today and expand in the gym industry. Gym Launch is a business and consulting firm. We help gyms make ungodly amounts of money inside of their facilities and increase their profits. Prestige Labs is a supplement business built directly for gym owners and club owners to be able to provide high quality, uncompromised supplements and be able to get paid handsomely for it. It is not an MLM, it is an affiliate system. Gymowners.com is a tech integration startup that we are building specifically for gym owners to help them be able to understand their data and coach them through their data. That is not launched yet. We are in the startup mode right now. Now, since I'm gonna speak specifically to Gym Launch because this is all about clubs, okay? Since our birth in 2016, we've helped over 5,000 gyms in 22 countries, helping our clients make over $500 million in new fitness sales revenue. That's new, not combined between what they were doing and everything. This is in addition to what they were doing. Our average club owner or gym owner increases their net profit by 105K net of working with us and the investment that it takes. And that's what our average client does. And we decrease our average club's churn by 50% on average. And we do this by increasing prices. Typically we one and a half X to two X their prices and we decrease their churn by 50%. And I'll show you why. I say all of that to give you context on who we are and what we do here at Gym Launch. Our sole purpose here in the world with this holding company is to help gym owners and club owners reach more people, change more lives and build wildly profitable businesses because we all know that the world is facing an epidemic of obesity. Am I right? Yay or nay? Right, okay. Thank you guys for also engaging. I do really appreciate that. Um, and the only way that we see it right now as a company of former gym owners, current gym owners, I'm a former gym owner. Uh, Mike is on our team over there. He currently owns a club and he's on our team. Multiple different people on our team are current or former gym owners. 
the way that we see it is if we can arm gym owners and club owners just like you with the right resources, information, and training to reach more people and change more lives, we can help save the world. And if you guys can make a lot of money doing it, that would be great too, right? Okay, sweet. We're all capitalists here when we own businesses. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to just skip past that. All right, today, I'm going to let you know that this presentation will fall into one of three categories. It's either going to be, hands down, the best presentation you see all week. All week. Top one, unforgettable. Or it'll be the worst. Or it'll be somewhere in the middle. But I promise you and I guarantee you that it will be one of those three. Cool? Sweet, fantastic. Okay, now at Gym Lunch, we have one ground rule that we operate on. We assume you do as well as a club owner and a business owner. We assume you do this regardless of your business, whether you own a club, vendor, franchise, doesn't matter. Our North Star guiding principle as a company is this, a business owner wins by making the same prospect more valuable to their business than to that of their competition. By extension, the clubs that create the most profit per customer will dominate their respective marketplaces. Because the more profitable your core offering is, the more money you can spend on advertising. The more money you can invest into your service and increasing your experience for your clients, which keeps them longer. The more money you charge your members, the more that they are invested in their own health the higher their client results, your client results will get. The more that they're invested, the more that they pay, the more attention that they will actually pay to themselves and what they're trying to do. Which means that you will get more word of mouth referrals and you will make more money. Now, all of this is made possible by creating an opportunity for your prospects to pay you a lot of money the moment that they walk in the door, the first time. Not in a month, not praying that they convert into PTs or something else. And today, I'm gonna to show you how our clients do it so that you can replicate the same model in your facility. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Cool, next 45 minutes, my goal for this entire presentation is to expose what I believe is the biggest problem facing clubs today and how the right offer and paid advertising is the key to reliable club growth and profits, okay? And before I go into that, I do wanna say one thing real quick. I have thought for a very long time, we have worked in studios and we have worked in clubs. I have always thought that clubs are sitting on an opportunity to wipe out, are there any studio owners in here? Sweet, plug your ears, okay? Club owners, you have the opportunity to wipe studios off the map and no one's doing it. No one is doing it and it blows my mind because the moment someone walks into your facility, you can offer them anything that they need and very few clubs take advantage of that because they only focus on the low cost receivables and the monthly dues that stack up month over month. And the studios are the ones that are able to provide the service, the fitness, the nutrition, the accountability, and they are, re they are just raking in the profits from those. That's why there are so many different studios. So shout out to the studio owners here. I was a studio owner, shout out to you. Y'all are crushing it. Club owners, we need to learn from this. And like I said before, I have a free gift. I can promise you one thing. You will never forget the ending of this presentation. I promise you, okay? So let's talk about the big problem today. Before we get going, would everyone agree that to have the best chance of winning any game that we play, whether it's a board game, it's sports, video games, doesn't matter, we need to understand two very important things. Number one, the game that we're actually playing. Yes, I sound like Captain Obvious, but let's think about it for a second. If, I'm playing foot if I think I'm playing football, but I'm actually playing baseball, I don't really have a good chance of winning the game, do I? It's gonna be kind of weird. It's gonna be kind of awkward for everyone. Okay? The second thing is we have to know the rules of the game. If I know those two things in life, in sports, and in business, then I probably have a better chance of winning or at least continuing to play the game. Would everyone agree with that? Sweet. Okay. Since we agree on that, I'm going to tell you that the game that clubs are playing is wrong. And it's broken. And I'm going to explain. This is the game that most clubs are playing right now. They're going to try to get a ton of people to join. Does everyone want a ton of people to join? Yes, right? Cool. <clears throat> Using a low cost or free pass offer. Sound familiar? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm here to tell you if you're thinking that there's something wrong with it, there's nothing wrong with that. For access to space and machines. And then hope and pray they not only convert and stay, but they can be upsold into PT or higher margin services. Sound familiar? Boutique facilities are no different except that they hope and pray they just convert and stay. Because typically they're giving a free class or trial or a three, three class pass and then they hope they just move into a reoccurring membership. 
When we break down the numbers, for most clubs though, the process is a slow and agonizing way to grow. This mic is in the way. For example, ABC Club, they have 1,500 members. Let's say they're spending $3,000 a month on advertising. So these are some of the numbers that we pull from our clients. The advertising and marketing, by the way, could be SEO, could be Google, could be social media, could be whatever. Let's say they sign up 60 new members per month at an average of $51 a month. Got that off Ursa, by the way. That's where I got the $51. The churn, 45, so 3% of churn per month, $51 a month. Some of you have maybe higher or lower churn, but let's just say an average of 3% churn. So this is what it looks like. At the start of the month, this club looks like they have 1,500 EFTs. They had 60 new clients, and because they spent $3,000 on marketing, we're not gonna include commissions, we're not gonna include anything else, tech or anything else, we're just saying the spend, they had a $50 CAC. Cost to acquire a customer was $50. That's not bad. So they added it, and if you notice, do I have a, uh... yeah, there we go. They're now at 1,560 EFTs. But during that month, they lost 45 clients, 3% of the 1,500. So now they're down to 1515, but here's the kicker. They spent $3,000 to add $765 a month in receivables. I don't know about y'all, but spending $3,000 a month to only net $765 in receivables when I've got a lot of other bills is not the game that I wanna play. Does anyone disagree with that? Okay. A lot of times it feels like this. Is anyone in a situation, I'm curious, and if you're not, that's fine. Is anyone ever or has been in this situation with their clubs where they feel like they're just kind of in place and they're just kind of going through slowly? Or has everyone just had a rocket ship all the way to the top? Okay, sweet, no one wants to talk, I love it. Um, and it's why most clubs struggle to scale quickly and profitably, right? But this game works for low cost leaders because they're playing a different game than most clubs. It's a game that I hope you don't show up and it works for them. Does it not? This is pulled directly from Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness members typically go five or six times a month and around 60% of them don't visit in a 30 day stretch. That is their model. And it's because they understand the game that they're playing. They understand the rules and they work it that way. They're happy to lose money acquiring clients because they know that their price is low enough not to set off alarm bells for a member when they don't use it. It's literally designed that way. Is it not? It's less than the cost of Netflix now. Think about it. It's less than the cost of a monthly Netflix membership to go to Planet Fitness, which means that they can play the volume game, the long game. They're also backed by a lot of, little bit more money. Planet Fitness, there's others just like them. And they can just stack receivables because they know that most of their members won't actually show up and consume their access. Key word here is access, okay? To be very clear, I'm a businessman. I like making money. And this model, for the ones that do it and have started this, it's genius and it prints money for the brands that do it. How many of you want to be this? Which I have no, I don't care. How many of you want to be this? Great, fantastic, awesome. How many of you don't want to? Great, okay, cool. There's room for everyone. But just understand if you get into this game and you don't, you raise your, you raise your hand and you don't wanna do that, but you advertise like this, we're gonna have problems, okay? Because the game is totally different. It's also the reason, that model right there, is why most clubs look at paid advertising and think that this doesn't work. And if they're not wanting to be a low-cost leader, but you're advertising the same way, you're not wrong. Because it's really hard to grow and scale your club while advertising like a low-cost leader. So we have to differentiate ourselves. There's a better game. Because for almost a decade now, like I've mentioned before, our clients have been using paid advertising to profitably acquire new clients. These are just a few of the testimonials. You can't read them, but it is what it is. I tried to stick as many as I could on here. Consistently, reliably, in every type of club imaginable. Everything you think of, we've worked in every single type of club across the world, using a system that we call client finance acquisition. And it works like this. We take money, we put it into social platforms. This is gonna sound very basic. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Google, YouTube, you name it, Twitter. We acquire customers who give us more money, we then put it back in the system, we get more customers who give us more money, and it just works like this. The same thing that most clubs do, right? How many of you run paid advertising? Good a, good, a good amount. This is gonna be fun then, okay? But ours comes with one big difference. Our average client, we make five to one or more on our ad spend in cash the first time a prospect walks through the door. We do this by getting this customer. We put the money into the machine, this customer, we get them, 
to pay us enough to cover their acquisition cost, the next client's acquisition cost, their first month's fulfillment, and some profit. We don't just try to break even or lose money on day one. How many of you would like to make 10 to one day one every time in your club? Okay, sweet. Those of you that did not raise your hand, I'm scared. Okay, how do we do this? Instead of offering a basic membership and praying that they sign up for PT upgrades, we start with a mid to high ticket offer and we start there and we work down. It's an irresistible offer. It's an offer built on true value for consumers. And I wanna break down value because value can seem hard to define and thus it can be hard to communicate. This is really, really important. This one's a writer downer real quick for everyone. So by the way, we're recording this, so it will be up on YouTube. So we'll put it up on YouTube. I'll give you the links at the end. You guys can have access to this. This will be edited down and you guys can have access to it. So let's define how we think of value. This is called the value equation. It was defined by Alex Ramosi and published in his book, $100 million offers. Has anyone read this? Yeah, my man, my man, let's go. Fantastic, okay, everyone should get this book. This is a plug for him. He's also our founder, but he's, he owns a portion of our portfolio. But either way, get this book. This is an incredible book. This is how we look at it. This formula shows us how to create value for potential and current clients that we have. And here's how it works. Take the dream outcome, which is in the top. Think of it this way. Is the end result meaningful to your prospect or to your clients? What is their ultimate goal? In fitness, it's really easy. They wanna look better naked, they wanna feel better about themselves, they wanna be healthier, they wanna move better, they wanna have less pain. There's a myriad of different reasons, correct? I think we could all boil it down to they want to look better naked. But like at the end of the day, it is what it is. The next thing is the perceived likelihood of achievement. Do they think that they can actually succeed with this offer? What are the chances? Then underneath, we look at all of the negative aspects of it, the time delay. How long will it take them to see the final result and get that dream outcome? What about just progress? How long will it take to just see progress? Then, what additional costs or inconveniences are they going to have to take on by taking on this offer or saying yes to this offer, by doing this, in order to achieve the, their dream outcome? What other things have to happen? Do they have to wake up at 6 a.m. every morning when they're used to waking up at seven? Do they have to drive 15 minutes to the gym when they've never driven to the gym before? Do they have to go and buy workout clothes because they don't own any workout clothes? Do they have to learn about exercises, sets, reps, and all these things when they have no idea what they're doing? So in this equation, the goal is to increase everything above the line and decrease everything below. So let's use this for a typical health club offer and let's see how it stacks up, okay? Dream outcome, lose weight, healthier, stronger, sexier, you name it, right? Super high value. We all wanna live longer, right? We know that fitness is the path to being able to live a better life, potentially longer. Perceived likelihood of achievement. If they just walk into a club and they sign up, what are the chances that they're gonna be successful? It's less than 20% on their own. They know it, by the way. Your prospects know it. They know it, they've done it before. They've tried it, they failed. They've done it. Time delay. How long is it gonna take them to achieve that dream outcome? Or even progress. For some, it's months, years. Some, it's never. There's a reason why so many people in today's world struggle to lose weight and to be in shape. It also shows that it's hard for people when they lose weight, they gain it back. The next piece is effort and sacrifice, a ton. For the person who's not used to working out and wants to feel better, their entire world gets shifted upside down. Think about it for a second. If you, if you are a working mom and you have three kids and you're like, I need to go start working out because I want to look better and I want to feel better and I want to fit in those jeans that I did in college, but you got three kids that you got to get up, you got to get them to school, you got to do all these things, you go to work, you come back. Now, instead of going home and cooking them dinner and having playtime with them, you take them to the gym and you pray to God that it has daycare. And if it has daycare, you leave them there and then you go in and you look around and you're like, I have no idea what the F I'm doing. And you look at all the weights and you're like, nah, not for me. So what do you do? You go to the treadmill. You do that for two weeks, three weeks, and you're like, I'm not seeing progress. And then what happens? You become a statistic. Most gyms lose 50% of their new members within six months. It's according to URSA. And this is why. And it's why most health club owners think that they're expensive. 
This fascinates me. This really fascinates me. Because we work with studios that charge like $300 a month for like large group training access. And I love listening to recordings. Sean is in the back, he'll do calls. And people are like, yeah, we're the most expensive in our area. And they charge $51, $60 a month. And it's fascinating to me. But here's the kicker. They're not wrong because it is expensive. If you charge $51 a month, you are five times more expensive than Planet Fitness for the same thing, for access. For access. And here's the thing. As a former gym owner, I understand you may have better amenities, you may have better machines, you may have all that. Your consumer doesn't care. They don't care at all. They just see that I walk in, I swipe my key card, I go in, I step on a treadmill. The treadmill is the same as the other treadmill at Planet Fitness, but I'm paying five times more. And no one knows my name, no one calls me, no one texts me. I don't have nutrition, I don't have accountability, I don't have fitness, nothing else. This is why. Let's compare this to LiPo though. Let's look at the value equation in LiPo. Here we go. They want their college body back. They want to be healthier, sexier. They want to be an influencer. <laughs> you name it. It's very high value. Same thing. Perceived likelihood of achievement, extremely high. They're going in and they're sucking out fat. It's gonna happen. Like, there's, it's definitely gonna happen. Time delay, immediately. The effects are immediate. They have a six week recovery, but the fat is gone immediately. It's not like they just go in and they do some stuff and then it's like, oh, it's gonna like go away over time, immediately. And then you look at the effort and sacrifice. It's moderate, they have some short-term discomfort for sure. It's not exactly the most amazing experience in the world, right? But it's probably medium value there. This is why the average lipo procedure costs $5,000 for three to four hours of surgery. And in 2021, they saw a 66% increase in lipo surgeries and it's still growing today because that is value. So how do we improve this? We first recognize that the problem is clubs that don't want to be a low-cost leader sell the very same thing that these low-cost leaders do, but they hope for a different result. This is what low-cost leaders are selling, access, and they're winning. This is what most clubs are selling, access. It looks like this, it looks the exact same, especially for your prospect. And when I talk to most club owners, they don't want to be known as a low-cost leader. I saw the majority of you that I asked, do you want to be a low cost? The majority of you all raise your hand, you don't want to be, okay? You want to build a community that changes lives. Yet, what is being offered and how they're being positioned is the same, right? Just access to machines, which is confusing. It's very confusing for me, it's confusing for the prospect, it's confusing for your potential client because every report out in the industry and what will be talked about this entire week is how consumers want physical and mental improvement. They want it both. And by improvement, they want results. They're tired of not getting results. I'm telling you right now, they are tired of not getting results. They're fed up with it. This is why lipo is getting bigger. This is why clinical drugs and weight loss drugs are getting bigger. And they're gonna continue to grow because people are tired of not getting results. Consumers now, more than ever, they want it. They want life-changing, transformative results in the impact that impact their health, their mental well-being, their appearance, their family, and more. They don't want the old way, they want the new way to provide, and this is really key, to provide lasting results in fitness, we need three things. Everyone needs this. This is for lasting, this is not short term by the way, this is for lasting results. Anyone can get short term stuff on just fitness. It's gonna be hard, but they need nutrition. I mean, how many of us started as trainers or in the gym? Like, how many of us like workout nerds, like started, yeah, loving it, right? My, my journey started through baseball. I was all about strength and conditioning, loved it, played baseball for a while. And nutrition right there, how many times have we all heard it's like it's 80%, 90% nutrition, right? It's just spread throughout. We need it, your clients need it. The last one is accountability. This is the piece that most people just don't do. And this is the three things that everyone needs to see lasting results. And if clubs are only selling access, it's barely touching any of these things. Here's an example, low cost leader. You just have access. It's not even really fitness, it's just access to do fitness. Health clubs, you just have access. Now, if you have like personal training, you can add that in there with a little bit of accountability. The very few offer nutrition at a reasonable and affordable way for clients to actually use it. Personal training and bootcamp, typically don't add nutrition. Nutrition only like a Weight Watchers, they have nutrition and accountability, but they struggle on the fitness. So what happens when someone stops at Weight Watchers? They lose a lot of weight, they haven't built lean muscle, they go back, a year later, they gained it all back. And then if we work out from home, right, 
We can pretend that they have accountability, but who's actually reaching out to them? Who's actually checking in with them? Who's actually helping them, helping them with their plans, right? And then nutrition, where is it? They have to go to chat GPT or they have to go to Google, but who's holding them accountable to that plan? And what happens when it fails? To fix this, clubs, we as clubs, we have to create value-based offers that include all three of these, okay? Fitness, nutrition, and accountability. Offers that have your prospects lined up and ready to pay top dollar for. Because we know that when clients pay more money, several things happen. Number one, their emotional investment increases. Someone tell me what's the most expensive thing, not a house, that you've bought. Just name it, whatever it is. Car, how much? Ooh, people don't like talking about numbers. It's okay, you can say it. 80,000. 80, Who said that? Okay, how well do you treat that car? Right? You're, pretty, you're probably emotionally invested from the beginning of making sure that that car is well taken care of, correct? You probably get the oil change, you probably make sure that it's cleaned as reasonably as you can, and you probably wanna make sure that it's safe, well taken care of, and is running, correct? Right, you're emotionally invested. The same thing happens with fitness. The more that your clients pay, the more that they'll be emotionally invested in it. The more that they pay, the perceived value increases. Compared an $80,000 car to a $20,000 car, just by stating the number, we all see that the perceived value of the $80,000 car is more, correct? What if it was the same car? But I just told you, without showing you a picture, it's 80,000 versus 20,000. You immediately think the $80,000 one has more value. Their results increase. When they are emotionally invested, and when they perceive that it has more value, their results will increase. Do you know why? Because they will be more compliant. And they will follow the programs that you give them. Because they're gonna see it as something worth investing in. And then when they start to get the results, it's a feedback loop that just snowballs into this incredible avalanche of client success. And it also, for all of us business owners out here, it gives us margin for fulfillment. It gives us the ability to give back to our members in a way that no one else can. And that's how you win. And when you have offers that people are willing to pay for, you can actually make money as soon as the prospect is sold, which is the core of this concept, this model of client finance acquisition. Why not be five to one, eight to one, or 10 to one day one when they walk in? The only way to do that is to lead with a higher ticket offer immediately. The one that aligns with your prospects, whatever they want, and puts them in the best position for success. Now, I get this all the time. If I start with a high ticket offer, what if they say no? You just downsell them into a basic membership, right? Where are they gonna go? If they came into a gym and in the prospect's mind, I think gym, I think access to machines, and I do this, and someone gives me the opportunity to have a program that has nutrition, fitness, accountability, and all the things that I have, and maybe slaps a guarantee on it. And now it's amazing, but it's like, ah, you know what, now's not the right time. Cool, let's just get you into the gym that you already had pictured in your mind. So no one leaves. Where else are they gonna go? If you offer everything under one roof, truly everything under one roof, and it's not all the different types of classes and all the different stuff, yes, that's helpful. What I'm talking about is results. What I'm talking about is transformation. If you're able to provide that, where else are they gonna go? That's the power that health clubs have. You just aren't tapping into it. Many are not, some of you are. So instead of playing the wrong and broken game, it's time to start playing the right one, using client finance acquisition. This process, client finance acquisition, looks a little bit like this. Day one, let's say I spend $100 on ads. It's not a lot, let's say I do that. Let's say I get 10 leads, so $10 lead cost. Let's say four shows, so I get a 40% show rate. Three of them buy a basic membership. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but that says 149 each, each. So I'm gonna stop for a second. How are we selling $51 a month memberships and collecting $149 or more up front? Is it okay with everyone? If I just walk you through and do we do a quick detour on what we're talking about and I give you some really tactical stuff that you can implement in your club right now to collect $149 or more, I'm not opposed, if you wanna upsell, please keep doing it, per basic membership that you sign up and you have them loving you and thanking you for it. Would everyone be okay? Okay, this works for everyone, regardless. So here's how you do it, enrollment fees plus a kickstart program. Here's a problem now with enrollment fees. Who has enrollment fees? Great. How many of you enforce them 100% of the time? Cool, like 10%. Great. All right. You know it's an arbitrary number. Right? Right? It's really just there to offset acquisition costs. It's there as an anchor. 
Can we all be real with ourselves? Your prospect knows it's an arbitrary number because most clubs wave it anyway, right? They've probably been to a different club. And they're like, yeah, well, they waved it. Can you wave it for me today? And because what happens is your front desk and sales staff know this and they throw it out at the first sign of hesitation by the prospect. Because what are they trying to do? Close them. They want to make money. So how do we do this? How do we get it to stick and we provide value for the client at virtually no cost to us? That's a unicorn offer. How do we do that? Super simple. We give our prospects what they want. The majority of gym goers find it difficult to know what to do in the gym, right? People come in, they're not sure, they call it gym intimidation, people leave, they don't know what to do. What exercise should I do? How many sets, 10 to 12 reps? Or should I just head to the treadmill? And then they just become another statistic because they're going to the treadmill and then they quit. We don't want that. So instead of leaving them to their own devices and hoping and praying that they stick, why don't we start their experience off with a bang? and give them what we call a kickstart program. Feel free to name it whatever you want, by the way. Feel free to name it. I've seen clubs name it different stuff. You can name it whatever you want. A kickstart program, though, is a four to eight week training program developed in an online fitness app. You can use Trainerize. Our clients use Trainerize. You can use Trainerize to do this. And it's delivered digitally with zero coaching. It should include three workouts per week. Three workouts. And if you really want to over-deliver, you can create eight to 12 different programs based on what your clients might like. Because then when you meet with them and you sell them and you find out what their goal is, maybe the mom just wants to lose a little bit of weight. Maybe this guy over here wants to do a 5K. Maybe this guy wants to get stronger, get bigger, bigger biceps, who knows. But you can develop programs specifically for them. Here's a few examples. Six week ab shred program, eight week booty builder program. These sound stupid, these sound funny by the way. They sound corny, do they not, right? Your prospects love them, love them. <laughs> the greatest internal program I ever ran at my, at my gym was called the Big Booty Boot Camp. <laughs> Every woman wanted it, and 20% of the guys, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, the name, na how you name them is very, very important, okay? And if you're wondering who can make these, right? So you're like, well, how do I make them? What do I do? Here's a couple options, right? One, most of y'all probably have, um, I'm just saying this, I'm not trying to be mean or facetious on this one, but you have good trainers who are programming nerds. I was a programming nerd, so I identify as that back in the day. Um, and they would love the opportunity to showcase their programming prowess by creating programs for your club. You can even incentivize them, incentivize them and pay them a one-time fee if you wanted to. Or you could do what I did last night and just went on to ChatGPT and typed in, create a six week weight loss exercise program with three, that has three workouts per week for six weeks using only body weight exercises. And bam, in 30 seconds I had this. You could just do that. What's the goal of getting people new prospects when they come in? What do we really just need them to start doing in the beginning? Moving and consuming your product, right? So if we make it as easy as possible for them to consume your service and product, the higher likelihood of them staying. Then all you have to do is add videos for each exercise in the app and you have yourself a self-guided kickstart program. Now we take it a step further with our clients and we add in messaging in the app that's automated for accountability. And then what we do is we tell our clients to meet with them at the three week mark, three weeks into joining the gym for a potential just a check-in. How's everything going? You liking the program? Do you want another one? Do you want to switch? Or would you like a little bit more one-on-one -on -one access? What, just, what did we just create? Create accountability, check-in, we know their name, we know their goals, client experience improves, and it gives us the potential to upsell them for the people that didn't buy right away. We're creating opportunity for growth. And now, when those new clients, those prospects walk in the door, what happens is you present it as a complimentary Kickstart program, valued at 197, but today, it's complimentary, it's on the house. Why do we say complimentary? Well, because complimentary is elegant. It provides perceived value when we use the word complimentary. So please use the word complimentary, not free. Tell your people don't use free for this. Use complimentary, it's very, very important. The words we use matter. And all of that is due today, all that's due today is first month plus enrollment fee. Or you can call enrollment fee whatever you want. Make sense? The consumer in their head thought they got basically $349 worth of value or more. And you just created an opportunity to keep that client longer and have another meeting in three weeks with the potential to move them into a private program, into a semi-private program, into a nutrition upsell, into whatever you want. And if you wanna get crazy, you could just be like, cool, let's get you started. Let's schedule a nutrition orientation 
on Saturday, come in for 30 minutes, we'll walk through and look at what you're doing right now from a nutrition side, and then you can sell them supplements. Just another opportunity to make money. Instead of having them walk through the pro shop and then just look around and maybe grab something every once in a while. You could get them on subscribe and save and actually sell them supplements and make a boatload of money, okay? If you're not doing this, here's how much extra money you can make just by doing this, just by just giving them something online, nothing. You could charge more for this, by the way. You could do whatever you want. This is just at 149 if you just added in the enrollment fee. This is just enrollment fee, by the way. This is not counting the signups or anything else. If you average 50 signups a month, it's an extra 60K a year, 75, 89, 100 signups, it's 118. That's just on the difference in the enrollment fee. Feel free to charge more. Feel free. You can anchor as high as you want. There are no laws against anchoring really, really high. Okay? And that doesn't account the increased retention that can come from this. Member retention, this is from Precore. Member retention starts from the onboarding process. 87% of members who experience a positive onboarding process still remained active after six months. Remember that stat? 50% of new gym goers quit after the first six months. You can keep 87% of them. And then we have potential upsells just by following through with the person who's using this program, okay? But back to this. Was that helpful? Was that valuable? Okay. Is anybody doing that? One? Yeah? I like it. Crushing it or no? Okay. All right. We're going to do it though? Ooh, okay. I'm cool with possibly. I'm cool with that. 80% of people are in the possibly range. 20 10% will always say yes, 10% will always say no, and 80% are possibly. Give me possibly, we can work with that. All right? Now, one of these people, remember we had four shows, okay? You spent $100, 10 leads, four show, three signed up at 149. One of them upgrades into this upgraded higher ticket offer. By the way, I don't actually think this is high ticket. This is like high ticket, I think, for maybe most clubs would imagine selling someone $599 up front for just a six or eight week program. I'm talking about six or eight week, not years, not anything else. I'm talking six or eight week program, okay? So all of a sudden you made $1,000 in cash on day one. You spent $100, that's 10 to one. It's that simple. If any of you hate money and you don't wanna do that and you're just opposed to signing people up at 149, you could still do seven and a half to one at $51 or whatever your normal thing is, okay? Day two, you do the same thing. Day three, you do the same thing. Day four, I don't know if it's still this way. Some of you probably have better processing than I did. It took too long for the actual money to hit my account. But by this time, if I was gonna start day one, my clients are now funding my marketing and I never need to have a marketing budget again. Because now I have cash consistently coming in. If I spent $3,000 a month on advertising, I covered it in the first three days. I, I covered the entire month's advertising costs in the first three days. Or I could just be greedy like I am and just keep advertising, okay? That is how this model works. It's like having a slot machine where you put $1 in, you get $10 back, or maybe you get $3 back, or $5 back, or $2 back. But either way, if you have that slot machine and that machine is in front of every single one of you right now, what would your budget be? You wouldn't have one. Because you'd be like, cool, I just put a dollar in, I get $2 back. I'm just gonna put the $2 in and I'll get $4 back, right? You don't need a marketing budget. Now, let's take that same example that we used earlier, ABC Gym. Right? But we'll now use the new model and see how the numbers work from there. So ABC Club, advertising, same thing. New basic sales, instead of 60, we have 45. They upgraded 15% of them at 599. Their churn stays the same. Same thing, 1500, they add 60, $50 CAC, 45 leave. Here's the difference. They spent 3,000 to add $15,000 in cash plus 765 in receivables. Now some of you are like, well, that's the same receivables. True, but here's the difference. The $15,000 in cash gives you the opportunity to invest more in your fulfillment and experience. It gives you more profit margin. It gives you the ability to create better client accountability and overall client success, which increases the LTV. And I could talk at length about creating better experiences for clubs and for clients. This is what, this is like, I'm obsessed with this because I think there's a lot of opportunity in the world right now to change more lives and create a bigger impact. And I think we're, we're almost there. I think a lot of clubs are almost there, uh, but I don't have time for that today. But as clubs increase their value, their churn will decrease. This is what happens. And when, when that increases, it increases the LTV of the client. I think all of us would just love to just ultimately have the LTV of like $20,000. Who here would love to have the LTV of Starbucks, by the way? Oh my gosh, right? It's like, 
15,000, I think I saw a new stat, it's like almost $20,000. And I don't know if that's true or not, but I think it's like 14 to $15,000, which is great on just a cup of coffee. But as clubs increase, as you increase the LTV of your clients, you can spend more to acquire clients than your competition. Now it just becomes a full circle. This is how you dominate. This is how you scale fast. This is how you make an impact. This is how you close down every other gym in your marketplace, whether you want to or not. You may like them, you may love them, but this is how you win. By providing outsized returns on everyone else's time and investment, meaning your clients. Cool? To bring this all together, I wanna to share with you a simple way that you can fill your club to capacity in the next 90 days using this model. Now, I'm really curious, I'm just, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's faces on this because, um, yeah, we'll just get into it. Now, to do this, to reverse engineer this, all you would really need to do is know your current sales funnel metrics, so your client acquisition metrics, but I'm gonna show you an example of what it would look like. So, let's do an example. Let's say you wanna add 1,000 members in the next 90 days. Would anyone like to do that? Cool. Well, I'm curious how many of you will raise your hand at the end when I ask if you're willing to do this. But we'll see. Lead cost, let's say lead cost is $10. Again, hypothetical situation. You get a 50% show rate, you get an 80% close rate because you know, some people do leave. So 20% of them go on a high ticket offer because you bump it up. 80% are on basic. You get 1,000 members, you sign up 1,000 members, which means that you would collect, if this is the case, at the same price points that we talked about, $239,000 in cash collected up front day one on those 1,000 members. We're not talking LTV, we're not talking receivables, we're not talking contract value. We're just talking cash collected, okay? Which means you would need 1,250 shows. You need 1,250 people to walk through your door, which means you need 2,500 leads, which means that you need to spend $25,000 to make $239,000. That is like, that would be great. Who here would do that in a heartbeat? That's in 90 days, by the way. So 90 days, not like $25,000 in a month. That's 90 days. Would anybody do that? Would anybody not do that? Okay, cool, great, I'm cool with that. ROI is nine to one on the front end, not counting LTV, not counting anything else. Let's do an almost worst case scenario. Almost worst case, not worst case, almost, okay? Lead cost doubles. Show rate drops to 30%, so it dropped by 40%. You now have a 60% close rate. We're still doing 20% on high ticket and 80% on the basic. Here's the difference. You're still making the same amount because we signed up this, but now you need 1,666 shows. You need 5,555 leads and you need to spend $111,000 over 90 days. How many of you would do that to get two to one? On the front end, not LTV. We're not talking LTV to CAC. On the front end, one person. All right, I like it. This is where, this is where people squirm in their seats. This is great. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario. Lead cost, double $20, 30%. You only sign people up on the basic, 149. You make $149,000 up front on $111,000 ad spend. You're one to one in 90 days and you added 1,000 members. Would anyone do this? Would anyone break even in cash day one? Day one, not LTV. Day one, yes, right? This is, this, this is, I'm seeing shaking heads. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I can work with this. I can work with this. Where else are you gonna do this? If, if this, you could do this, if you could do this, I'm playing a hypothetical game here. I'm not seeing any raised hands. You're saying you would not add a thousand members and do one-to-one -one on day one. Okay, all right. The clubs that choose to do something like this and buy into this type of model, doesn't mean they're gonna spend this, but the ones that buy into this model and understand that they can go one-to-one -one, or they can go two-to-one or 10-to-one on day one on cash collected, understand the game, and they will scale and they will grow and they will crush every other health club out there. I'm just letting you know. It's happening right now. Because they understand the math of it. This is how they scale. This is the math that low-cost leaders know. They know this. They're willing to lose money on the front end because they know that people won't quit because it's so cheap for them that they will win in the long term. But health clubs, if we do this, we can win. This is worst case scenario, okay? So even at worst case scenario, break even on your acquisition, you stack members quickly. Where the real money and growth comes from is, being, is having that irresistible offer. I'm gonna walk you guys through that real quick. The good news is, is that you don't have to change the offer that you're currently advertising to get 10 to one returns. Because as you all know, hopefully by now, it's not illegal to upsell people, right? Someone could come in on a certain offer and it's not illegal to make them another offer. 
it's okay to upsell them into something else, which means that you can still use a free pass, you can use a low barrier offer, you can do a class pass, a free month, whatever it is, to get the prospect to walk through the door. Then you can use a client-centric process, meaning get to know them, just sit down, understand their goals, what are they trying to do, and have a choreographed sales process to enroll them in a program that best fits their needs. The types of programs that you can offer depend on what you're currently doing right now. So if you're doing personal training, this is one option. You could do semi-private training, which is my favorite. It's the highest margin, best bang for your buck. Or group training. Maybe you offer all three of these. Here's how you would structure them, okay? The offers that are converting right now are six to eight weeks in duration on the front end. The reason why we don't sell year-long memberships on high-ticket stuff in the front end is because people can't think in that long a term. Everyone wants what? A short-term fix. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna give them what they want, right? We're gonna give them what they want on the front end because we're gonna ultimately give them what they need long-term, okay? So if you offer personal training, here's the offer. You're gonna offer anywhere between one, two, or three sessions per week. They could be 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever it is. You don't have to break your current structure. Nutrition, you're gonna do nutrition orientation with them. You're gonna sign them up, you're gonna schedule them for a 30 minute nutrition orientation. You don't have to, but if you don't hate money, you can sell supplements here and get to know your client better. Give them a custom meal plan, recipe book, shopping guide, eating out guide, meal prep guide. By the way, for individuals that are like, well, we can't do custom meal plans, there are apps with trainer eyes that you can plug in and they will give them custom meal plans at scale, personalized, with shopping guides, all this stuff, it's all there. Accountability. Weekly weigh-ins, they'll come in, they'll weigh in. Studies show that people that weigh in on a weekly basis have a higher likelihood of losing weight long-term because they're compliant, they're tracking it, they're looking at it every day. If they have a higher compliance, they will continue to consume your access, your service, and consume your product. You're gonna do two to three reach outs from the trainer or whoever's working with them. You can also rotate it around the staff because now they're not just a number, they're not just a key card, they're a person. And that is what people want. You can do a progress meeting halfway through and you'll do a challenge completion meeting with the opportunity to upsell them into something else. The investment on this for six weeks to eight weeks is anywhere between $6.99 to $12.99, your choice. My suggestion would be charge higher, but I just put this here just as it is, okay? And that's for personal training. Do me a favor, don't try to sell year long memberships like right up. You'll do a lot better by converting people right here on a short term membership to get them in and then you'll convert them halfway through into a long-term membership. It works like crazy, crazy, okay? Semi-private, the only thing that changes is the amount. So same thing, one to two, you get fitness, nutrition, and accountability, see the theme? Fitness, nutrition, and accountability. They get these, these can be delivered through an app and through simple check-ins, by the way. You don't have to go crazy. They don't have to meet with a registered dietitian and take time out of their busy day and inconvenience them to come in for another appointment. You can do this through technology and provide them tons of value. Now the price point on this is $6.99 to $9.99. You can do large group training. This is where I find it really interesting. If we understand that people that pay, pay attention, and that they get better results, why do we give large group training away for free and lose money on it? What if we charge for it? What if people valued it more? Do you think they get better results? And if you did, you could do three sessions per week and charge $5.99 or $6.99 and crush it. Another one, and this one's crushing it right now, this one's really fun. For those of you that don't wanna do any of those, and you'd rather, I don't wanna to touch anybody, I just wanna do everything through an app, you could do what we call, this is what we call hybrid. And so it's an individual program design where you create a custom six to eight week training program that they do on their own and you offer nutrition and accountability. Because, right, 90% of it's nutrition, right? And then who's gonna hold them accountable to that goal and to that program and to everything else? And you can charge the same amount of money because of the value behind it. They can come in on their own time. They can follow a program that's built inside of a, an application that they can use. They can even do it at home if they wanted to. You're gonna help them create a custom meal plan and a custom program design, the whole thing. You're gonna reach out to them two to three times a week via the app. You can even, by the way, you can even schedule out messages so that your team isn't behind there, sitting there, just doing it all the time. This is what we've done for our clients. We've scheduled out 52 weeks of messages. All they have to do is reply back, right? And so you can do all of these and put this on, not autopilot, but you can do a semi-automatic accountability program. That's where value comes in and you can charge this. So now you don't have people on the floor training. You've got them coming in just like every other user, except they paid you $5.99 up front. 
All these offers are working right now, and they're working in hundreds of different markets, regardless of the demographics, regardless of the income, regardless of the location. It doesn't matter. The reason why is because of value. They provide real value, and they meet people where they are, encompassing all types of goals, no matter what they're trying to achieve, and the clubs that lean into this will dominate their respective marketplaces for years to come, especially the hybrid piece. Okay? Now, I'm wrapping this up. I promise you a gift that's gonna happen in just a second. Was that valuable at all? Yes. It doesn't sound like it. Cool. <laughs> to anyone that it wasn't valuable, I apologize. You're still sitting here though, so it must have been something. Maybe it was crazy enough that you're like, what is this crazy guy gonna talk about? But if you'd like to learn more, we have tons of free resources. Um, you can visit us at gymlaunch.com. You can go on YouTube. We've got a YouTube channel where you just give out free, free stuff for gym owners, health club owners, everything from sales tactics, lead nurture, accountability, retention, business models, you name it. Um, you can follow us on Instagram and at Twitter. Um, we're on pretty much every single social media platform. My request though for everyone today, my ask is this, is that you please, if you're going to do, if you're gonna go in and you're gonna consume the free resources, please use them, they work. And the reason I want you to is because selfishly, like I mentioned at the beginning, our goal here at Gym Launch is to help club owners, studio owners, franchises, Everyone be able to reach more people, change more lives, and build wildly profitable businesses. I believe that we can all win, and I believe that the consumer can win as well. And so my request is if you do go take that, and you do go use it, and you go through it, that you implement it inside of your business. And we know that if you're armed with better information, resources, and trainings, you and your team can accomplish just that, okay? So if you found any of this valuable, interesting, or even absurd enough to pique your interest, I'd like to invite you to stop by our booth um, we'll get you the, all the resources that you need. If you want more, we've got more. We've got a ton. Just come by, say hi. You can come by. We're doing, I think, cookies and donuts. Yeah, nutrition. I, I know, I know. <laughs> I thought about doing a margarita bar, but I was like, Ugh. I think we won't do that. So come by, uh, see if it fits your macros, and you guys can have some cookies and donuts. We'll be booth uh, 3616, so please stop by. Just say hi. If you think that this was the stupidest uh, presentation you ever saw, I'd love to actually hear from you because I'd love to just hear why. Okay, I'm open to all feedback. I'd love to understand what's going on. And if you like to learn more stuff like this in person, um, I'd like to invite you to our club business event, which is GymCon, for those of you that want to. If you want to be in Orlando, May 4th through the 6th, Cinco de Mayo, and you want to learn more, you can head to gymcon.com slash Orlando-2023, um, and you can grab tickets. We've got some really cool speakers that are going to be there. Um, A-Rod, Alex Ramosi, Layla Ramosi, a couple guys. Now, I told y'all on the edge, I told you, I got a free gift for y'all. This, I told you that you would never forget the ending of this presentation, okay? So I let y'all know, and I believe so strongly that client finance acquisition and these offers will make it rain for your clients. I believe I have so much conviction and certainty around this, that if you provide outsized returns on people's time and you provide high value offers and services that you can change the world. I believe so much in this, that it'll make it rain, clients and money inside of your business, that I would like to donate to your next winning ad campaign right here and right now. And so those of you, those are real $10 bills and my wife's gun is broken. And so those of you that are out there, so enjoy. And thank you for your time and attention. I really appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. Just remember gym owner's rule. Thank you guys. I think next time I need a bazooka. Yeah.